Hello everyone, I'm Barbara Thomas, and we're gonna go a bit dramatic and talk about how to deal with dark and light in your painting. For this exercise, you're going to set up a simple still light using things without a lot of color or texture in them. And you're going to set up a lamp next to it so that you get this really intense light and this pretty intense dark and shadow. Light and shadow are opposites, just like the complementary colors. One is warm and one is cool. With complementary colors, one is going to be a primary and one is going to be a secondary. Yellow is exactly opposite to purple on the color wheel. Alizarin red and cerulean blue will make a great purple. Now you have a great purple and yellow on your palette and we're ready to start our still life. For this exercise, you might want to use larger brushes because you're going to be covering a lot of area very quickly. You want to start with your dark color. You use the dark color to accentuate the dark areas of the object. Think of the cool dark shadows in a glade. Use your dark color to color in all of the dark areas of your painting quickly and with a lot of drama. Now you're ready for the light side of your objects, the sunny yellow reflection. Think of the bright sun shining on your objects. Here you can start going back and forth with your purple and your yellow, building in the background. You're going to start seeing how the purple and yellow together create midtones that complete the picture. Try this exercise a few different times with other color combinations. Red and green, blue and orange. The opposite colors are really going to show you how light and dark create the forms in your painting. Here's a study in red and green and one in another version of purple and yellow. In Renaissance painting, somewhat like this, it was called chiaroscuro, light and dark. You'll see this technique in great modernists like Fairfield Porter. Take a look at the Parish Art Museum website. 